Hey guys, it's Katie Taylor at ScrappingKatie.com, where I show you how to preserve your family's memories through the art of scrapbooking. This month on my YouTube channel, I will be participating in Scrap Timber, where we take a prompt each day and use it to create one of our layouts. So let's take a look. So for today's um, Scrap Timber, this is the first day, September 1st. And we are concentrating on stitching. So that is the technique or the cue that you need to use if you're playing along with us. I have pulled out my Persnickety Box for July, which Persnickety Box is like a subscription for printing your photos. I'll leave the link down below. Highly recommend it. Even if you aren't a scrapbooker, um, you know that I am a proponent of printing off your photos and this helps you do it. So I've pulled out several photos of my daughter swimming and you can see here a lot of repetition. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to kind of do a grid over on the left side of the layout. And then I have pulled out some leftovers from Beach Party. I love that this stripe kind of matches her gingham bathing suit and then of course those waves right there and then I'm going to probably stitch in between the photos not really sold on that yet but I think that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to clean my or clear my space and then we can get started I've sorted I've my sorted. photos and I think they're actually going to go in a small square in the middle of my layout maybe offset to the left or the right and I'm going to use flip flaps and so I need to kind of fill up this square right here. So I've pulled out the Beach Party um, PML cards. Trying to find ones that kind of go with the scheme of the things as well as the layout itself and what I want to portray. That might be a little larger than 4x4, four four, but I may be able to get it. And then you have the 3x4s. And so this is like pocket scrapbooking but I like to use it just on regular layouts. That's cute. That's cute. I also need some options for journaling and so that's why I've kind of pulled out these. And then I love that they're landscape on one side and portrait on the other. So I'm going to keep those out so I can kind of look at those once we start building the layout. And then, of course, like I said, I'm going to do flip flaps. I'll show you how to do those, and then I'll leave a link down below to a video showing you how to attach it and cut your memory protector. I've already glued down the base photos, so these are, are going to be the ones that show when you flip up the flap. I've already assembled this flip flap, but then I wanted to kind of show you, in case you, you're new to flip flaps, how they work. So again, this is a 4x4 four four flip flap. We have all different sizes. And you want the uh, tape part, the backing, to be facing up. And that way when you fold it over, it sticks to your layout. So here are the uh, photos that are going to go over this one. I want this one on top, so then when you flip it like this, I want this one to show. So again, like this, and then you flip it open. So I'm going to, again, the backing is on the top facing me, the pockets in the back. One thing I do wanna do though is I usually adhere the photos together just to make sure that they're lined up, especially if I'm not using a photo mat, which I'm not in this case, because the white photo mat that um, the photos are adhered to is what's going to show from behind here. So we've got that and then I'm going to flip that in there. Again, tape backing is up, pockets in the back, and then you flip it. So let's see how this is going to work. This one is going to go up here and then this one, oh you know what? actually need to do something different. So this one, because uh, the two flip flaps are right together, this one is actually going to go on the side. So backing up pocket in the back, I need it to slide in like this instead. Yes, so this one will go like this. 
And again, you're just gonna line it up. I'll be really slow with this part. And then this one will go up here. This one is just going to be regular. And then of course I'm going to add a little detail right there. I think my base is actually going to be this yellow. Um, it's going to be in small doses, but some of the stickers that I want to use are actually have uh, the sunflower in there. So that's why I want that. And then remember, I want this striped paper that kind of matches her bathing suit. I think I'm going to cut this at 11 and what do you think? Let's try 11 and a half. No, let's try 11 and three quarters. That way, a little bit of that sun dance can show. I am going to just apply adhesive to the side that's not going to have any flip flaps on it. And then that way, I can go ahead and get this somewhat glued down. Let me see using my glass board to center it so I've got two inches inch and a quarter so I think I'm going to do it right there it's going to be close enough to being centered and so of course right here this has no adhesive and here is where I'm going to lay these down so you're just going to peel back that backing and then kind of close it. And what I want to happen is I want you to not be able to see these photos behind. So I'm going to lift up that left side, line these photos up, and then kind of close that backing in the back hoping that it keeps straight all the way down and then there we go I usually like to take my bone folder just to make sure that it is good and secure and how I can tell is see how you can see those little dots hopefully you can see those little dots I just rub it with my bone folder until I can't see the dots and then that way I know that it is really secure in that layout. Okay, so let's do the next photo. Again, I'm going to take the backing off. And remember this one is going to come from that left side to kind of aid in these two not competing against each other. I am going to flip my layout just because it's easier for me to work from the top. Same concept. Fold that back over those photos. Make sure my photos are lined up. And then glue it down. And then lift this up and do my bone folder until I can't see any more of those dots. So we've got this one that's opening up, this one that's opening out. This photo is wrong because remember we changed it. So hopefully I can separate these. It's a downfall in gluing them together, but I used dot glue. So it's a little bit better. Of this and this yes it's just it's weird because I can see her shadow and the swim pool so it's throwing me off okay so we've got that got that now let's work on this little cluster and then we'll do our stitching last I'm going to cut this four by six one down to four inches And then probably going to cut, I really like this one. I know it's a lot of blue, but that's too busy. Let's see what else I pulled out. Good vibes, the arrow's pointing the wrong direction. I could do that one, or I could do this one. 
and use it for journaling. Or I could use journal strips, which I think is what I'm going to do. So I wonder if, let's try something before I fussy cut it. Let's see if I could cut this. This is three inches, so let's see if I could cut it to three by three. And then I want to adhere that to a white daisy piece. I did want to show you that the back side of this one is a blonde girl. So I love that Close to My Heart gives you options. Of course, I'm going to be using the brunette. She signifies my daughter more. And I think I'm going to do it like that. So I'm going to get this glued down. I have added 3D foam tape to the back of this and I am going to just try and eyeball center it. And then I got to thinking, this almost has, these are uh, towels, but you see right there, that's almost like stitching. So if I can't fit the stitching in, I think I'll have that serve as my stitching. So we've got that and then let's pull out these sticker sheets and see what stickers. So I love the Like a Fish. Sorry, I had a board meeting. Not really a fond of that. Welcome to Summertime Paradise. That actually might be a good one. I mean, you think about these signs on beaches and stuff, but nobody says it has to be. I love this little floaty right here. I love the van, but the van just doesn't go. And then I have another sticker sheet. I'm liking the Endless Summer. Um, sun cream. Again, pulling out some of those yellows. I'm liking the sun. Catching rays, making a splash. There's just so many cute stickers. I am going to speed up the rest of this layout because it's just embellishing. I will be adding 3D foam tape to the majority of these stickers. That little sun is going to go there and then I'm going to add liquid adhesive to this little sunscreen bottle and get it adhered down. And then I thought, you know what? I remember that my friend Jama used one of our new card stencils to make waves. So I've pulled out this card stencil. It's actually four cards, like I said. It's not meant to be waves at all, but they do. They look like splashes. I am just going to tape off the sunscreen bottle. I already have my photo taped off, and then I am taping my layout to my glass board. Then I decide I need some tape along the bottom edge of that Sundance cardstock because I only want those splashes to be on that red and white striped paper. I am using a blending brush with some Capri ink. And you'll see here that it just gets stenciled over that. And thanks to Jama for really seeing this as splashes because it does. I'm going to repeat this process up at the top right of this layout. So I'm going to move all of these pieces down and then again get the Sundance cardstock taped off as well as my photo. Now this stencil tape that I'm using, I'll leave a link down below, but I love it and it's not harmful to your photos at all. It comes right off your photos, um, but it has enough tack to it that once you glue it down, you can see it's glued down to a glass board and those pieces are not moving. Here is where I will go ahead and start um, getting all these little sticker embellishments. Again, the majority of these stickers are adhered down with 3D foam tape. I did take the stickiness off using my anti-static pouch. The ones that I did decide to leave the sticky on, I just need to re-add sticky by either liquid adhesive or tape adhesive. That little ticket to summer actually is adhered with 3D foam tape onto that flip flap. And then here is where my stitching is going to come in. I am using the background element stamp. You can see it's got a lot of dots and backgrounds and water splashes but I'm going to be using the row of X's and I think I'm actually going to use Candy Apple. Now I'm gonna ink this up and it's just perfect size for that little part of that striped paper that shows behind that photo grouping. 
So I've got that and that is going to serve as my stitching. Now I do love machine stitching, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to show you other options in case you don't have a machine to stitch or if you like the simple look of stamping. These are the little rubber shapes that come with Beach Party. And so I've just added a couple of stars. I really like that beach ball, but there's just a little bit too many circles on there. And then what do you know? I actually pulled out the dots for Crisp Air, which is a very fall collection, but it's got some of the same colors. So I'm going to add a sapphire heart up by that ticket. And then I am going to use my journaling strip stickers that I talked about earlier. So two are going to go up top and then two are going to come down at the bottom right. I love that these journaling strip stickers kind of come over into that Sundance cardstock to kind of break up that color. I'm going to add one more star and then that is pretty much it. Here is a look at the finished layout again with those flip flaps. Don't forget that I have linked all the products that I've used down below, as well as that video on how to cut your memory protector to make those flip flaps interactive in your album. I will also leave links down below to the playlist for Scrap Timber so you can go check out the other videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss another crafty video.